my mask is hanging on. Good morning, it is now our first full day in Osaka. I picked the loudest time to start vlogging. I'm feeling so much better today. Got some good sleep last night. We stayed in, we ate McDonald's, and we went to bed at 8 p.m. We watched Japanese television. They were actually doing like K-pop like marathons. It was, it was like MTV and it was so much fun. Literally like ideal night for us, not kidding. Just got myself an orange juice from the vending machine and now we're headed to Osaka Castle this morning, which will be really cool. I need to put my mask back on because we're inside. This is where we are headed first and foremost. This little guy right here. up at the castle our next plan of action is going to Dotonbori I think is how you say it and it's a bunch of like food stalls this is what I've been looking forward to I'm starving right now and it's a bunch of like street food and I have never been more excited in my life I want cheese I want okonomiyaki I think is how you say it it's like a cabbage pancake I want some Kobe beef I want literally all of it some drinks so we're doing it Shall we do it once more? Cheers! Cheers to Oh yeah. Cleared that immediately. <laughs> Fried rice. You make this off? We've been up for way too long, but I don't wanna come down. Oh, it's very hot. I don't know what that sauce is I just made, but it's good. <laughs> We got our coin that has pancake batter and mozzarella cheese, I believe. Yep. Is it good? You try. Okay. Yeah. Cheesy. Cheesy. <laughs> Oh, it petered out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Arigato. These are really good. It's like a. Um, Umaibo. Yeah, it's like a. Cheeto, Cheeto puff. puff. Oh. Flavor, yeah. One of Drew's favorite things in the entire world is called Melon Pawn. It's like a bread that is shaped like a melon. And this stall has ice cream in it. And he shimmied all the way over here. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we're feeling brave and bougie and we're gonna try some Kobe beef. It's um about fifty dollars. I think we're gonna go for it. 
All right, here it is. This cost um, around $50 for, um, for scale. <laughs> but it is Kobe beef, so we'll see. Less than three ounces. Less than three ounces, and they're soft, which I'm happy about. All right, shall we dig in? Yeah. Shall we dig in, boys? The end pieces look like they're cooked yeah. a little more. Sounds like right up my alley. Daddy paid a lot for this steak. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Cheers! 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 It's like butter. It is. It is it's so tender. Literally like butter. We each get one more piece. That woman's mm -hmm. running like a waffle on it. Freaking 10 out of 10. That was so good. Mm. Yum. I know. We had um, such a good experience that we went back for more. <laughs> yeah. And this is the Kobe beef sushi, right? Yeah. Yep. I got the same as we had here, but in sushi. In sushi form. form. And, and they was, basically just torched the top of it. Yen per Sushi. Yeah, we're living large today, apparently. Yeah, we're living large. <laughs> Bacon mode. Bacon mode. Bacon mode. Cheers. Bacon mode. Bacon mode. Sway for a minute, the play moves side to side. Good morning from Kyoto. I'm trying to be quiet because we're entering the Fushimi Inari Shrine, which is like the big shrine that everyone goes to in Kyoto that has all the Tori gates. I'm so excited. We've been wanting to see this since we came the first time. So we'll see what it's like. It's about, oh my God, I just tripped. It's about like 9 a.m. on a Saturday and it's really busy so far, so we'll see. So um, it's like two hours later probably, hour almost and a half later. Three. It's almost three hours later. We weren't fully aware of what we were getting into <laughs> when we decided. I was not prepared. We, we went on a hike literally this morning um, in our normal clothes, but it's fine. It's over now. Um, we stopped off at this cute little coffee shop that exists like up in the mountain where the shrine is and people live here. We saw the postman come. We got croquettes and buns. It's so cute up here. So I mean, I guess it really was worth it in the end because we got to come down through here and like see all the cool stuff. But yeah, um, we can say we did it. Oh, the postman's coming. Bringing everybody their mail. So I think the next plan of action is to head, what's it called, Kishi Market? Kishi? Hmm? Nishi. Nishi Market. And grab some food, grab some drinks. Back down the mountain we go. We survived. We did it. We, did it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have We Survived shirts. <laughs>
knows your name. <laughs> yeah. And they're always glad to get Where's Coach? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's cut off. <laughs> besties i will never know where any of this is at any point in the vlogs because i'm just filming it as i go but it is our last morning here in osaka we took a day trip to kyoto yesterday which i guess you would have seen and i just like haven't really been vlogging that much i've just been documenting like little things here and there but i've been more focused on like taking photos with friends and then just like enjoying the moment i think it's a lot different when drew and, and when drew and i were here by ourselves a few years ago we were just kind of like documenting everything it was our first time here it was so cool we were experiencing all these new things but when you're with a group of people it feels really unnatural to be like anyways we finished what you were saying yeah, mm -hmm. you know, so it's like you just don't want to whip a camera out. You obviously understand that, but yeah, I've just been documenting what I want and it feels great. So now we're going to head back on the bullet train again this morning. It's about a two and a half hour train ride back to Tokyo and then we're going to do our final leg in Tokyo. So we're basically doing like two more days. Really, it's like a day and a half because tomorrow we're going to Disneyland, which I'm so, so excited about. So that's going to be pretty much the whole day tomorrow. And then we have one full day before we leave. It's actually a really rainy day in Osaka. I think it's also raining in Tokyo today. Here is the view from our hotel. It's much different than the last one. Did I, wait, did I even show this hotel? I don't think I did, hold on. So we're staying, I mean, it's kind of like messy now because we've been here for three nights. We're staying at the Moxie in Osaka and it actually was so cute. So this is our bathroom right when you walk in. Hello, someone drew really cute stuff on here. It has a nice shower, like a huge shower area. And it has like the double shower heads. That's been great. Another amazing toilet. We love it. Got like a little hanging area for your stuff if you want. And then here's the bed. This was Drew's side. This was my side. We got our TV. I mean, it's pretty small. They did have a table available if you needed a table, but we didn't. Here's our view. We've been watching people work out this entire time. It's been great. Pretty central to like a bunch of different train stations and wherever you need to go. And if you need to buy a BMW. There you go. Nice little chair situation. Drew's modeling for us. And then our bed, so that's pretty much it. I'm not really sure exactly what we're gonna get up to today, but we'll probably like get back to the hotel change and then go back out. I just wanted to check in and then head back to Tokyo. So let's do it. Okay, we made it to our last hotel of the trip. Oh, I can take my mask off now. Oh, my ears. We just took the bullet train and got to our hotel, which is the Tokyo Miyako Hotel, I think it is. Sheraton Miyako, something like that. And here is a little brief room tour before we mess it up. So right when you walk in to the right is a bathroom, but it's just like the shower area. We have a soaking tub. We have the shower right next to it. We have a sink area. Okay, that doesn't open. <laughs> then across the way, there's the toilet. And yes, don't worry, it's still, actually it's the same exact toilet as our last place, so love that. Cute little sink. Then you walk in, you got a mirror, hello. Then you have kind of the main area. Yes, most importantly. <laughs> we have a nice big bed, gorgeous. We have a little chaise. We have a table. Kind of in the way, in the middle of the room, but that's okay. Oh, we have a closet. Are there robes? Yes. Love to see it. Slippers, we'll be using those. Nice big TV, some storage. Little kitchen area, I think. Ooh, a nice mini fridge. Mini bar situation, love that. And then the best of all is this freaking view. Now it's like pouring rain today, but look how pretty. You can see the cherry blossoms from our window and like look how lush and green this is. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy. <sighs> so the plan is we are going to just like regroup a little bit, rest for a moment, 
change. I'm going to put some makeup on and then I think we're going to venture out. We're not entirely sure what we're doing today because it's raining. We'll catch up in a bit, but I can't believe we're already at our last hotel. Like that feels insane. We've already been here six nights. What do you mean? That's crazy. Anyways, we'll chat in a bit. <laughs> no, it's what does it mean? <laughs> Alright, it's a little while later. This is my outfit I'm wearing tonight. It's funky. It's cute. I love it. The sweater is from Target. The pants are from Hollister. Got my Converse. Got my little teddy bear fuzzy hat on. It's gonna keep me nice and cozy. It's quite chilly out there. We're getting our bags packed up and we're heading out. Twinsies! Twinsies and our buckies! because we're finally getting Ichiran ramen. It's like the kind that you see on Instagram where you have like your own individual booth. It's like very private. It's like you don't talk to anyone. So we're pretty excited. and Noel just found a potential beer pong bar on Google Maps. Who knows if it's good or not, but we're gonna find out. There we go. We just left our first bar of the night. We actually didn't end up playing beer pong because this really, 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 really cute couple that were on a date, they were playing beer pong and they were having so much fun together. So we ended up just playing darts for a couple hours. Um, but the bar we went to was called Grove. We're in Akihabara right now. No, I think it was Grove. Maybe I'm stuck in LA. Either way, if you're in the area, check it out. They were so... Nice, the bartender was so nice. Both bartenders, they were like greeting us um, or like saying goodbye to us at the elevator, like, thank you for coming. They were so sweet. Anyway, next we're gonna head to an arcade that Drew has had on his list for a while. And then maybe some karaoke. I'm feeling like singing some Taylor Swift tonight, so we'll see.
show us what you got. I got a fall guy. We got a fall guy because we play the game a lot and I think we're gonna give it to Drew's niece. Did you get anything else? Oh, well that's it. That's our, that's our arcade hall. There, he there he is. All right, we're doing it. It's karaoke time. Let's go. Ah. Okay. Oh, we, got a, we got a window. <gasps> we got a window. <laughs> Wait, can we open this? This is so obvious. This is, oh my gosh. How do we open these blinds is what I need to know. Oh, yes. From the fourth floor. I'm so happy. Made it into our room. We got, we got to do our inaugural. Cheers, oh my god, thank you. Me and Noel got these yard beers. Cheers! Cheers. Bye. 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 So Drew has uh, already been wonderful boyfriend and pulled up Taylor Swift because he knows. Baby, now we got bad blood. You know it used to be bad love. Take it away the black parade. Boy can be a little thing waiting for the king down in the jungle room. 